about car checks and royal coverage. I paid $5,200, $5,200 for my royal coverage, okay? $5,200. Now, before I purchased it, I was very clear on asking him what it cost. I mean, what it covers, very clear on it. And I recorded all their conversations, as you can see. And I'm going to let you hear them so you can see how they lie through their teeth. I drove their required mileage. I bring it to a shop and they say, your turbo seems to be leaking oil. So I took it in. So they replaced the turbo. Car checks, I mean, Royal says the turbo's not covered because it's a pre-existing condition. I drove your minimum mileage. So what was the problem? I drove much more than the minimum mileage. But you say it's a pre-existing condition. Well, the shop replaced the turbo. And immediately, a new turbo, brand new one, went bad within seconds. What was the reason? Because there was some kind of jam up in the oil line there, so the turbo wasn't getting oil. Hey, they don't cover jam ups in the oil either. Oh, okay, so it's still not covered. It actually turned out that the oil cooler kind of like broke. So the oil cooler is what the problem was. So now after spending almost $5,000 for a turbo and twice, I take it to Mercedes. They uh, Before I take it there, I said, look, this mechanic told me it's the oil cooler. Do you cover an oil cooler? Oh, yes, we cover that oil cooler. Terrific. Bring it down to Mercedes. They say they don't cover it. Now, you listen to these recordings Oh, and, well, that was the whole reason I took it to Mercedes. Okay, now let's go back to the last one. Now, she said it would not be listed. Now you listen. Oh, that's weird. So, I knew that. So you did actually see that, that it, he did note it. I guess the guy made a mistake. Yeah, he did make a mistake, but I do see um, that he stated that it was listed. Okay, so that's that. So that's them telling me that one. Now, let me get this one. Okay, now, listen to this one. Okay. Well, I checked with an adjuster to make sure. Um, so, yes, once they call in, just make sure that I put a big note into the account for you. Okay. Well, so listen, now they so made... Now, that was just was today. Blogging. That was today. Uh, now, now let's go to the next one. Now watch what happens. Yeah, 350. Okay. Now. And how can I help you? Okay. I, I just recently was on the phone with you guys. And... Uh, listen the how, how they lie. Issue. And first they told me it was covered, then they said it's not covered, then they said it's covered, then they said it's not covered. And, uh, you know, then they said, I heavily notated the account, just call the dealer and tell them to call us and it'll be covered. So they could bill us out parts and whatever. Okay, now I, I just called the dealer, just called me back and said they rejected it. Hey, so listen. what do you see on your end? I mean, this is killing me because I was, before I purchased a warranty, I was told this part would be covered. Then, yeah, no. they said, um, Move it up. That, that all the cooler sales are leaking. So that is not listed. If it was the actual oil cooler. You know, it's still, the guy told me that part was covered. Oh, and, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I don't know who told, would have told you It's that. actually notated in your thing that they could see. It was done on... Okay, I see no coverage, no coverage, no coverage, okay. no coverage. I don't see anything that it was... Okay, um, now they're denying it again, I right? See. You'll I see, see that it, you were told numerous times in the... You called... Um, right, now she stumbled up because she saw yeah, it. I called. Go ahead. You'll see it. Okay. The engine cooler... 
Well, so the engine cooler is in that level of contract, but when the repair shop called back, they want to start a claim for an engine cooler when, in fact, it wasn't an engine cooler. It's the seals, F-E-A-L-S, and you don't have coverage for any leaking seals unless it's in conjunction with, with a failed part. So your engine cooler has not failed. Okay, now, I was very clear to tell them. that have failed. When I, when I called to check, they t okay. You know what? No, you don't have sales and gaskets coverage. You don't have that. Okay, it's funny because they told me I did. And, and, uh. Now watch the your other answer. Thing is the coverage on the turbo. Turbo should have been covered. And that, that was a misdiagnosis, I think. I think the people who repaired it, I don't think it needed a turbo. But turbo was replaced. And they said it was caused by excessive. Whatever they said, it, it was caused by not excessive wear. They said it was a pre-existing condition. I drove your minimum mileage required. I bought the car at a dealer. I take a warranty so you out. Keep listening to this. Then now. I drive the mileage required. So don't get car checks. Bad, and next thing you know, I'm not covered. And well, it was probably because it was due to, um, I'm why the denial was they said because it was denied it's a long-term long -term ongoing condition and it was not a sudden failure okay then they should explain this one to me when the guy replaced the turbo with a brand new one and okay, it let's was speed this up in seconds in the repair okay. what did i get three repairs three rejects what does it cover it does it cover anything i mean how could it it covers a part but not the gasket for the part that's ridiculous. You know, think about it. I mean, you, now watch what I tell you about my recording. Okay. The issues. And if you listen to the recording I have, when you guys told me that the gaskets are covered, mistakenly he told me that, and you guys aren't standing by what you guys mistakenly told me. And I have it on tape. I have it on tape. Well, did, you, did you advise that person that you were taping them? Well, eh, yeah, at the beginning of the call, doesn't it say this call may be monitored? Why does he have to right. know I'm taping him? It's a one-party state where I live. That means only one oh, party okay. has to know you're being recorded. Okay, so I'm we're in Massachusetts. I don't believe that's the law in Massachusetts. Okay. Right? So neither because... here nor there. Neither here nor there. Um, it was denied, and I, I can read you the verbiage in the contract that states why it was no, denied. No, you know what she got met? Jeanette, how about this one? I asked her. I tell her I got it on tape from when they told me it was covered. You know what she said? Did you notify the person it was covered? Did you notify me the part was covered? Yes, you did. Oh, look at that. And then it wasn't covered. Look, thank you. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. There's nothing else I can do. There's no other discussion. I'm a YouTube blogger. I have millions of followers. I will make sure okay. to put the truth about your company on there with your recordings from your one-party state, with your recordings, including you now. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. So that's, that's the crap. So listen, what, what my advice is, is don't deal with car checks. Don't deal with Royal. It's a bunch of scams. They cover nothing. I paid $5,200 for, for coverage on a 2011 Mercedes GL350. Okay? $5,200 on a car that's worth, what, 12000 I paid 5200 to cover it. And so far, a wheel bearing went, not covered. A wheel bearing, not covered. Turbo went, not covered. Oil cooler went, not covered. What's covered? Nothing. Nothing is covered. What's covered is the $5,200 they took out of my bank. That's what's covered. So run from Car Checks Royal. They're a bunch of scammers. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. You'll never get your money.